I'm here in the Niagara area on the way up to the Natural Arch Trail. It's usually a pretty popular one that has beautiful views, but as you can see, it's closed off to the public, like most all of the trails in the Santiam State Forest, and for good reason. So this is an example of where the trail has been um, degraded so badly that you almost can't even really tell where it is anymore. That's Jason Cox with the Oregon Department of Forestry. He and another staff member highlighted the kind of damage that can be found on roughly 80% of the trails in the Santiam State Forest, which is the area in blue on this map. And currently there's no burned areas in the Sanium State Forest that are open to the public. This is the first time cameras have been allowed on the trail into this burned, closed off area of the Santiam State Forest. So this is an area that actually used to have steps to help people get down this pretty steep little portion of the trail. Only one of six sets of stairs on the trail survived. Safety handrails are gone too. There, there used to be a handrail like right there. Further along the trail, burned out roots have created holes underneath the trail. You can stick your arm all the way under here, and my hand is actually under the trail right now. So it gives you an idea of one wrong step on some of these trails. Uh, this can collapse and people can get hurt. If you're familiar with hiking, you know typically there isn't this much rock laying around. Man, it's a little dicey on some of this. The layer of dirt and other organic debris that used to be on top burned off during the Beachy Creek fire. One wrong step, and you could go sliding. If someone gets hurt, a call to search and rescue crews would be putting rescuers in similar danger. This is a log that fell across the trail after the fire, and it's actually completely blocked the trail, and so we're going to have to climb a little bit up and over to get around it. That was above the hill and it slid down, took the hill down and all the rock with it. So another thing I've noticed as I'm walking through this burned out area is that I'm hearing these cracks from the trees and it's fortunate that there's not a lot of wind today, but I'm told that if it were windier, it's possible that the branches around here, some of the trees even might fall, which is also why these trails are still closed because they're dangerous. So that's why I'm, you know, we're all wearing hard hats today. But there are efforts to restore trails so people can get back into these beautiful forests. A lot of people have been really hard hit emotionally because of this fire. Sean Morford is the executive director of the Tillamook Forest Heritage Trust, a statewide nonprofit focused on supporting the Department of Forestry. They've started the State Forest Wildfire Restoration Fund to clean up and reimagine trails in the Santiam State Forest, as well as improve signage. We were getting phone calls from people who said, how can I help? Morford is also fueled by her own personal connection to this forest. Our property got burned, so this is very, very personal to me. I'm very committed to it on a personal level. Cox says the money donated to help ODF restore trails is helpful. Yeah, we don't have a budget for rebuilding restoration after wildfire. Um, you know, we don't receive uh, general fund from the legislature for um, really any component of managing state forests, and one of those is recreation. This is natural arch on the San Diego State Forest. The hope is that with the help of donations, gorgeous areas like this can be restored quicker and open back up for everyone to enjoy. The forests are recovering along with the communities here in the canyon that uh, were so devastated by the fire, and um, it's a long-term endeavor. Near Niagara, Christine Pinawanich, KGW News.